there you go, being live streamed. Hi everyone, Marilee Smith here. I um, don't always normally go live on my personal page, but here I am today. I am a drama disruptor coach for those of you who have been following me. And I give people the tools to be in control of their thoughts, their emotions, and their energy so they can be happy, calm, confident, and resilient. And I am joined today with two of my colleagues, Kelly Commander and Corey Wamsley, and we're really excited just to pop on real quick and tell you a little bit about our upcoming workshop called Make an Impact. The one thing that, well, there's many things, but there's one specific thing that the three of us have in common, and we are incredibly passionate about helping other people and specifically helping other people to be able to tap in and share their story. Because let's face it, we all have our own stories of resilience, of growth, and those stories really need to get out so they can help other people too. And by the way, our world so needs that right now. So it needs us, it needs you. And so we're going to tell you a little bit about our upcoming live workshop that's going to be happening here in Pittsburgh on May 13th and a little bit about the details and how you can register. And then we're also, the other purpose of this is just to give you a real quick high level overview of the key areas that we're gonna be covering in that workshop so we can really help you be confident to share your story. Um, and really we're gonna talk about how those areas of our expertise have helped us on our own personal growth and our business journey. Um, but again, it's specifically how that's going to help you and how, what you're going to walk away from that workshop. So without further ado, like, again, this is going to be a quick one. I'm going to, I'm going to pass the torch over to Kel. All right. Thank you, Marilee. Hi, everybody. I'm Kelly Commander. I am the CEO and visibility strategist at K2 Creative and PR. I will be kicking the day off on the 13th. Um, I am the first session and I'm talking about imposter syndrome. What is imposter syndrome? Well, that is the inability to believe that your success is due to or as a result of your own efforts and skills. So it's that thought in the back of your mind or in the front of your mind that tells you, you know, I'm here because of dumb luck or I'm going to be found out as a phony or a fraud. They're going to come to me and say, you don't deserve this job or this promotion or whatever the good thing is in your life, because in your heart and in your mind, you don't believe you're worthy of the success that you have experienced. So this has affected me for a very long time, and it actually prompted me to put the anthology 21 together. And my chapter was called From Imposter to Inspiration, where I talk about inspiring others to go for it and just get out of your own head and do your thing and just be successful, even though you have the imposter syndrome. So I took a couple of notes because I didn't want to forget about what I was talking about. So um what we're going to do that day is we're going to define imposter syndrome. We're also going to talk about three early experiences that you might have had as a youngster or a child that might have led to you having imposter syndrome. We're going to talk about the five most popular imposter personality types. And I can guarantee that everybody in the workshop will, will resonate with at least one, if not more. There's parts of almost all five that I actually resonate with. Um, and then we're going to talk about my WTF tips for recovery from imposter syndrome. And those are not what you think. So that's a little bit of a fun twist. And then we're also going to discover your three realities. So we're going to sit down and really talk about what three things can you really pull out of yourself that make you successful, that give you confidence, that just make you feel like a million dollars, and it will help you overcome imposter syndrome. So imposter from imposter to inspiration is the first session in the May 13th workshop. And I am so excited and I hope everybody can join us in Pittsburgh on the 13th. All right, thanks, Kel. Um, so I'm gonna go next because my, my part of the day of, in our workshop is going to be the second session. And I'm really gonna take all of the amazing things that Kelly is sharing with us about imposter syndrome. And I'm gonna take it to a deeper level. And I'm gonna give you the a tool to be able to walk away with to help you really disrupt that imposter syndrome. So as Kelly mentioned, when we start getting into thoughts and feelings of self-doubt, the who am I, I'm not good enough, when that happens, we get triggered into what's called catabolic energy. Because my top, by the way, my, my workshop is called Master Your Energy. And so when we get into catabolic energy, think about it when you have those thoughts and feelings, it's draining, it's demotivating, um, we get that resisting energy. And when that happens, that's when we can get into overwhelm with our stories, like we're not even sure what we should be sharing. Um, we wanna make it perfect, like, ooh, I need to say it just right to, so I can you know, really get it out there. And all of that leads to procrastination 
in keeping us in what I like to call Stucksville. And so Kelly mentioned our anthology that we did last year. And whenever I wrote my chapter, when Kelly asked me to be in that, I very much was like, what? like, who am I to be in this book to be a published author? So I really experienced that. The good news is that you absolutely can spark yourself out of catabolic energy and into anabolic energy. And so when we can really step into thoughts and feelings of opportunity and care and concern for others and how our story really can help them um, making that deep connection and helping them create and live the best life that they can from learning from our stories of resilience. That's when we can tap into what's called anabolic energy. It's passion energy. It's that, it's that energy that we can be, um, we can really step into our courage and our confidence so that we actually truly can tell our story. And so we're going to talk about those two energies. And the other thing that you're going to walk away with is, is this tool called the seven levels of energy. And long story short is the seven perspectives, the seven lenses through which we can view ourselves when we're trying to tell our story and even our stories ourselves. And the good thing to know, remember there's catabolic, there's anabolic energy that we always have a choice. So this tool is a very practical, tactical tool for you to identify mm, where am I based on my current thoughts and feelings right now? If I have a little bit of that imposter syndrome, I'm probably at these lower levels of energy. Oh, wait, mm, I can actually choose another perspective, which is really, again, going to help fuel that confidence so that I can walk, I, so I can walk out there and tell my story and help others. So that is going to be my portion. And then Corey, with her amazing storytelling superpowers, is going to bring it home for us. Cor? Um, yeah, so I will be going last because you really need to build on the pieces that Kelly and Marilee talk about to be able to get your story out. So um, I'm Corey Wamsley. I'm the CEO of Aurora Corealis Publishing. And I am also an author, a writing coach, a book editor, um, basically all the book hats you can possibly wear. Uh, so of course, I didn't start out feeling totally confident and understanding how to share stories. Um, way back when I first started writing books, um, the first thing I did was sit down and go, ooh, I have this really great idea. I'm gonna just sit and write. Turns out that's not the best way to go about it. <laughs> you really need to have some strategies in place to have a structure for your book, to have an idea of who you want to reach with your book and a whole bunch more. And it's not just for books. It's for really any piece that you write. If you're writing a Facebook post, an email, an article, um, if you're doing a podcast or a speaking engagement, these are things that you need to put in place beforehand so you have that structure and you know that you're actually going to magnetize your audience, which is the title of my workshop. Um, so all of this stuff is so important because if you don't know how to feel confident in your story and how to get your story out there in an impactful way, then people who you need to be reaching aren't going to resonate with your story. Those people who really need to hear your story to be able to get over that hump of their own challenges aren't going to be able to connect with you and it won't get them kind of into your field. We all know those people who basically feel like a planet and everybody is, you know, the little moons around them, like, oh, wow, it's so amazing. Um, you want your story to do that for you. You want to be able to attract the right people. You want those moons around you. You want the satellites um, because that's how you impact the world and you change things for the better. There are people out there who need your story. So what I'm going to be teaching is the structure, some of the basic stuff. Um, and I'm going to give you a couple really good uh, storytelling techniques that will help you be able to sit down and not just start beating on the keyboard, but actually know how to tell it in the right order. So people go, oh, I've been there. Oh, I understand. She gets me or he gets me. And they will want to connect with you and learn from your story. Um, so those are some of the things we're going to do. We're also going to do some fun uh, writing exercises in the workshop too. So I'm very excited because I love all things writing. Um, so we will be talking about all of that cool stuff. So you can use your story as a powerful narrative and as a, and you know use storytelling as a superpower because we all have a story that we want to share. Thanks so much, Corey. So there you have it. That's what you can expect for our workshop on May 13th, the Make an Impact workshop. It is So we're going to share the details in the comments below of this video of how you can register. It is going to be on May 13th, starting at 9 a.m. down at Point Park University, being sponsored by Women in Industry. So we're really excited to be partnering with Point Park on uh, with our workshop. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And something important to also note that we actually are offering an early bird registration 
special. So if you register by April 20th, you'll be able to capitalize on that early bird registration. We cannot wait to spend our day with you. We're really excited to be able to help you, help you ditch the imposter syndrome, own your energy, and tap into your storytelling superpowers so you can shine your light out there in the world and impact people who so need to learn from your experience and your resilience and your amazing new superpowers. All right. Thanks so much, everybody, for tuning in. Have a great week.